All right, what is going on guys? Mizoid here. Welcome back to another Archon video on the Genesis Realm. So I believe this is my last video on the Genesis Realm for this map, but it is still a very active map. So if you guys want to hop on and play, go ahead. The IP is on screen now, mizoid.archonhq.net. And I think this might be the last time that you'll be able to use my code on the Archon for a free rank at the moment, or as of now, I guess. So you can use the code ZOIDFREE at the free rank from YouTuber section on the Archon store and redeem a tier one rank on any of the realms on the Archon. So I'm not too sure what I want to do for today video i think i want to do some more duels and get a lot of money as well but i also want to if we do slash pass you can see we're very close to being able to get to the next set of challenges we just need to like level up the pet levels which we're about to get level five right here i think he actually yeah, he just leveled up to level five but it takes about i think 10 minutes for each level and um we need or like 15 minutes i think for each level so we're gonna have to be afking a lot while this wasp actually upgrades its level so in the meantime i think we can do some duels or something like that but uh yeah guys when i have an idea of what we want to do for today's episode i will bring you guys back but uh, yeah for now I'm just gonna keep grinding blazes. All right, guys. So a boss is actually spawning right now. I think it just spawned. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to the boss world. It should be here. It's the Titan boss. I don't think we did this one last time. Okay, the boss just spawned. So I'm looking for. I don't know where it is. I just did. Oh, okay. I'm here in a different location. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and fight this guy. Hopefully we don't like take damage here. I honestly have not. I don't, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to got up or something. Where is it? Oh my god. It's. Oh shoot. That better not. Okay, okay, I don't take any damage, so hopefully we're okay. I'm just gonna try and get as many hits as I can on this guy. Whoever gets, like, the most damage, I think gets the most reward. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and hit this the most. It's obviously the red particle, so I guess I'm just gonna keep staying on this guy. Um, we've done a few boss fights. We haven't done, like, the Titan one, as I said. I think I did this one a long time ago when it was OP, and it was in, like, its own, like, the war zone area, and I would just die, like, every time. But, uh, we're actually, we're getting a lot of damage right now. Where is it? Oh my god, it just jumped away. Oh, shoot. All right, but yeah, it is pretty far, or it's pretty easy. I mean, I'm not taking, like, any damage is good, so I'm gonna go ahead and be able to get a lot of rewards from this. My damage does 160. I feel like I'm actually doing really good right now. Oh my god, where is it going? <laughs> oh shoot. Dude, this guy has this guy can jump. Alright, I have 222 damage dealt, which I feel like is pretty high. I think the last time I only had like 90 and I actually got a lot of rewards. So we'll see. Alright guys, the boss is about to die. This has been going on for like 10 or 15 minutes, honestly. And I'm pretty sure we get the spawner keys from these, which we're gonna go ahead and see the prize, I think. Oh, I thought I was first. Okay. No, I was not even close to first. Okay, well, I got third. So we got three boss keys. First place got seven. So that's pretty good. But we're going to go ahead. We can see how much damage we did there. 1587. So that was 11%. And uh, yeah, these guys did way more than me. So there's no way I was beating them. But we're going to go ahead and go slash spawn and open these up so I can show you guys these OP crate keys. I think I've shut them off before. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and actually open up three of them. So the boss crates, we can go ahead. They're right here. Boss crates. So they give a bunch of spawners and mob coins or money and bro boss and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open them up right here and see what we get from the first one. All right. We got four spider spawners. That is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and open up the other one one and we got 50,000 xp we can go ahead and open up the last boss key so we got some decent rewards for spider spawners i don't think we have any spider spawners yet and let's see what we get from this one i'm hoping for like blaze or iron golem or mob coins honestly we can see what we get oh i think we're gonna get three times creep spawners that's pretty good i think that's done. yeah we also don't have creep spawners so that's pretty good uh you can see right here so these are the other rewards there's iron golem blaze skeleton pig silverfish uh mob coins you can get money you can get a basic robot an Archon Pass skip, a boss trophy, and a title. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our island. All right, guys, now that I actually have these creeper spawners, I think I have a reason to actually extend this down and actually finish this off. Because as you know, we've had these zombie pigment spawners here since the first episode, and just, they just literally falling to nothing. So now we actually go ahead and place the creeper spawners as well, and we're gonna go ahead and make a platform down there with a chunk hopper so we can go ahead and collect some loot. All right, so we actually do have enough mob coins to buy another chunk hopper, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and check the AH first because there might be one in here. I mean, they usually are in the AH and they're pretty cheap when that happens. So you can see yeah, here, right here, we have two of them for 10 million. So that's a lot. You can get 16 for 50 million. Well, I don't really need that many. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy these two right here. So we can go ahead and do that. We don't have to waste any mob coins or anything. And we can go ahead and place this down and here we go. All right, so it is down. We can go ahead and actually clear the hopper filter so we're good clear filter and okay it should be good i think these will be working now i think i lined it up perfectly this doesn't really matter i also set up a storage under as you can see it's actually they're not loading in but there's like eight chests down there that are stacked and uh, now we can go ahead and place the creeper spawner so i'm going to go ahead right up here and place these down right here and we should be good oh the only issue we're gonna have to mine up this sugar cane farm a bit all right, so everything is done now. I mined up this a little bit, and this should be good. I, I even extended the platform over here just in case they, like, spawn off to the side. But we should be good for that. And uh, now it's time to place these spider spawners. I mean, I don't really have a use for them. So I can go ahead and just place them. I mean, I don't think it's going to interfere with anything. I'm going to go ahead and actually place them in this. This will be, like, our little mob grinder area. Then we go ahead and make four spider spawners right there. We still have, I think, 
two blazes right there so uh, i mean now we have more mobs to grind all right guys so i've actually been afking and like placing down my wasp over and over to finally level it up and as you can see it is level 11 so we are finally able to upgrade our pass in the next tier i haven't actually oh wait oh i got level 11 play for three hours i did not even get that i just realized i got that okay now get level seven we're also getting a tier one money pouch and two mushroom spawners which we have not gotten before what did we get from the first one we got oh we got two crakey okay we can go ahead and open those next but let's go look at the next set of challenges oh we have more done dude we have 13 kill 500 blazes we've killed 730 we get a tier one mcmo pouch and a tier three money pouch deal 1000 damage to bosses a chunk hopper and two zombie spawns we're actually doing good from this all right so let's look at the next thing so gain 75 woodkin levels we can do that really easily collect 50,000 xp i think think we could do that i mean we have twenty thousand right now and that's actually kind of a lot compared to what we've done buy 15 legendary enchants i don't know slash ce what are the legendary enchants they are 60 levels and we only have that much actually wait i could oh my god wait i might be able to do this i think that's that's eight how many do we need to it's not is it 50 uh, if it's 50 there's no way we're gonna be able to do that but if it's less oh it's 15 we actually might be able to do this oh yeah there's no way okay well we got close we can see i believe if we do slash pass we are at 11 out of 15 but if we do this other challenge the 50,000 xp that goes hand in hand with the legendary enchants and we'll be able to finish both of those and we'll definitely finish the wood cutting and we could definitely finish the fishing as well and the sky drops probably not yet oh the pet levels we're actually getting there as well so that's a lot of stuff on the menu to actually be able to redeem a lot of rewards with so i'm gonna go ahead and look at what we've gotten so far so we've got a tier one money pouch a tier three let's open up the tier three and see what we get that should be over a million for sure i actually well i already have two million so that's probably won't even be that good for me yeah so 1.3 million is whatever tier one will be a lot less as well so we have mushroom spawners zombie spawners zombie spawners will go into our grinder our main grinder right here this is just for all the stuff right here go ahead and put those in there um mushroom spawners i'm gonna go ahead and put those by our grass spawners like everything in here oh this will be our final spawner for this area and we'll put that right there okay there's our mushroom spawners and we also have a tier one mcmo pouch and now we can go to slash spawn and actually open up all those crates that we got so how many credits we got with 41 wait a second i'm not oh we have 161 mcmo credits if we do slash c or slash pass again i honestly we could just use them for this but it's like honestly it's not that hard to get that so i'm probably just gonna go to this manually but i could redeem it in that maybe fishing because i think that takes a little bit longer all right let's open up these crates we have a vote crate right here so you can get the vote crate key just by voting obviously but you know we got a free one right here so we got a i'm shook tag all right then the next one will be a spawner crate so spawner crates are really good you can get any basically any spawner on the server from here i'm hoping for something good maybe some igs or blazes i prefer those as well even a silverfish would be really good too. And we're going to get two mushrooms once again. So we go back to ISGO and we can go place these down right here by our grass. And uh, okay, and we have this chunk up right here. We don't really need it or anything. But yeah, okay. Now we have a lot of things that we can do. So we're going to go ahead and go back in the past and just quickly review. We're going to be doing 75 wood cutting right now. And then I think we'll start our progress on the XP and the legendary enchants. All right, so we just did slash forest, and you can see there are nine players in the forest. That actually gives you more wood kind of XP. You can see 34% more. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and start mining these. You can see wood cutting is already going up, so I'm not worried. This is going to take, like, barely any time at all. All right, guys, we are one level away from 75. That did not take too long at all. I think, like, five to ten minutes I basically did. Um, okay, for some reason, I'll just despawn. But we're going to go ahead and actually get the last level right here, and we're going to be able to redeem the pass. Okay, you can see it in the chat that we just finished it, so we can go slash pass, redeem this. We're actually going to get one blaze spawner and four cave spider spawner, so that's really good. That's all going to be added to our grinder and we also got two apple trees so I th i've showed these out before but it's been a long time so if i do eyes go we can see an apple tree so plant this in the ground to grow an apple tree they both are different actually none of the same so watering costs like 7.5k all the way up to 100k but when you harvest it you're going to redeem 30k all the way up to 800k and it grows in either 10 minutes to two hours and 30 so it has four stages of growth so we can go ahead and plant this right here and i can also plant this one right here but yeah like i said you can redeem these and get money for it so apple tree needs water and it costs thirty thousand. so we can go ahead and do that oh so the more you do it like it'll upgrade all the way um so as you can see you can level up your tree right here you water it like five times it goes up to the next level it takes either less time to grow and also increases the watering price which then increases the harvest price so i'm gonna go ahead and just give both these guys water and uh, yeah that's good okay so yeah those guys are going but as you guys can see we're gonna go place down these spawners so the case spider will go right here these will be like the last grind spawners and then the blaze is like right there so we can go ahead and go in there all right so that is pretty good and now the next slash pass we can go to the fishing area so i think if we just do the slash fish yeah we are now at the fishing market or whatever it's called uh it's called the lake actually so we just need a fish but i don't even have a fishing rod Okay, I just bought one from the combat shop. I'm not too sure how this is gonna, like, how long this will take. So I might actually have to just use the MC and Mocrates, but we'll see how many I get from one fish. And let's see. Okay, the first one that just gave us two levels. Yeah, that's gonna take way too long. That took like a minute for that to get caught. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the credits on fishing. All right, we just added 73 levels of fishing. So that means that we can actually redeem this last challenge. Gain 70. Oh, no, we can't. 
it says gain 75 fishing levels and we just redeem more which i think it makes it even harder to level up oh my god all right guys so this guy horn just traded with me out of nowhere and i accepted and he gave me this pickaxe right here efficiency seven fortune six so i just realized i'm actually going to go ahead and set up a chunk hopper system for like this mine right here and like i can honestly just like sit there and mine for a little bit but um yeah the fishing was taking way too long i'm not going to be doing that challenge today and uh yeah i'm just going to go ahead and i guess place the the chunk hopper like right here i'll put the chest down and chunk hopper down and okay so it is it is cleared and we should be good so now anything on mine should just go straight into that and i'm gonna actually going to go ahead and place more chests under and here we go we got a bunch of stuff so now i can just like keep mining this and it's all going to go down there which is kind of cool all right, so I'm actually going to use this book on my sword. I don't know if it actually helps. Grind one. I actually just realized we need an anvil to apply it, but I think grind one will actually help us get more XP, which more XP will be able to, you know, finish that challenge quicker. All right, so we now have a grind two sword. I'm not too sure, like, how good that is. I think it just gives me a lot more XP. Oh, you can see my XP is going up way faster, actually. So I think uh, that just gives us more XP. Well, grind three books aren't actually that much. They're only, like, 13 million. I just saw one right there. So that's not even that expensive. So this right here is a mob coin sword, and it's 60 million. I'm honestly just going to buy it because we don't really need this money for anything. And it's sharp five. I'm breaking 10. Stack smasher three. I think that's for, like, killing... Is that for killing these quicker or something? I don't actually know. Or like maybe it kills more at a time. Um, oh yeah, it does. You can see I'm killing one and it sometimes kills more than one. And then grind three, I think that's just for XP. And then I don't know what Cerebrus is. Oh, Cerebrus is increased mob head drops, which is good. Let's see what grind does exactly. Grind is increased XP from killing hostile mobs. And I'm guessing uncommon is stack smasher. Give the chance while grinding mobs to insta kill a stack, greatly increasing efficiency. All right, so I guess that's pretty good. I mean, we, now we can just start. Oh, did that just kill the entire stack? Oh, I think that is what it does. So that's actually, oh yeah, Jesus. The entire stack just died right there. Oh, and there it goes again. <laughs> All right, so I I guess uh that's pretty good let me see if i do size pass i think we actually can finish off these challenges pretty quickly 26k xp and four more legendary enchants it's also a tier 5 mob coin sword so shift right click while holding the open upgrade menu okay so tier 5 is max i don't know even what that even means but i think that just gives us more mob coins to be honest and now you can see our apple trees are actually ready for harvest so i think we just do a harvest and we just got thirty thousand dollars so i'm just gonna go ahead and water that again and we can go ahead and harvest this guy and water that again so i think once we actually water these a few more times we can level it up and we can also probably get a higher harvest value so that's pretty good all right guys we just finished the challenge for fifty thousand xp it did not take too long with the sword so it's a really good sword we got a lot of progress with this mob coin sword so i'm really happy about that but we can go ahead and collect this we get a 25 million infinity chest and four blaze bars so what this does it allows you to source an infinite amount of slash value blocks so you just place it down and i could like place vows in here and basically it goes all the way up to 25 million levels so i mean it's not super important for me any value can be placed in here and stored a tax of 20 percent will be okay so it's basically just like uh, you add in a bunch of things and then they tax 20 percent of the levels but but it's a lot easier you don't have to place them down we also got four blaze spawners we can go ahead and place these down back in our grinder that's going to bring us to seven spawners right there and okay now i want to see can i buy four legendary enchants i think i can one two three okay no we got three we need one more and it won't be too long to get that so i'm just going to go ahead grind these up and hopefully we can get that 60 level soon all right guys, we're about to get 60 level 60 there we go we just got it okay i'm going to slash ce get the last custom enchant and that should finish off level 15 right there the arkham pass so that's just gonna give me 30 million dollars you know right there kind of free money so i'm gonna go ahead and do slash pass redeem this and uh we did a lot of challenges today we need 20 pet levels that's not really gonna happen i think we're level 13 or so on this guy let's see right here he is uh level 13 yeah so that is 13 but that's gonna take a long time to do so we're not gonna be able to do that sky drops doesn't happen for another two hours if you slash sky drop so we're not gonna be able to do that one and then these last two i'm not doing the 75 fishing levels but the 500,000 island levels we can try and do it i don't think we'll get close but like for example all i gotta do is like put this in so put that all in there it goes so all of that just went in well yeah it says current value 26k so yeah i mean we, we can't get 500,000. we don't have enough vows for it or anything but we started it so that's pretty cool but uh yeah guys we made a lot of progress today so i'm pretty happy with it this mob coins would definitely help us out a ton and it's gonna help us out some more we have 2.1k mob coins we just have mob coin space shop but these are a lot but can we get any of these now that's 5.3k but you guys can see it's pretty good so if i do the regular shop can i get anything else now these are expensive as well but you can see how fast that did compared to the uh, like how fast it used to be so that's pretty good um i think our trees are about to grow as well again but yeah that's gonna be all for today's video leave a like down below subscribe to the channel be sure to use the code zoid free at the free rank from youtuber section in case you guys are wanting a free rank on here i don't know how much longer it's gonna be active for um yeah you guys can see look at that whole stack just got deleted right there we just got 40 levels from it so yeah definitely a great sword guys so leave a like down below i will see you guys in another video tomorrow Peace out.